Have you been thinking about heading out on a Colorado road trip this fall, but you're not sure the best places to see the fall foliage? In this video, I'm sharing a short vlog from this year's Colorado leaf peeping adventure, as well as my favorite spots close to Denver and Colorado Springs to go watch the leaves change. Hi, my name is Annabelle and I'm a habitual wonder seeker. I help fellow memory makers get off their phones and into their lives. Now, I put up a poll on my Instagram channel to see if you guys wanted to see more vlog style content on this channel and the answer was a resounding yes. So this week I'm sharing our leaf peeping adventure a few weekends ago and then stay tuned because after that I'm sharing my top five places to go watch the leaves change. which you just saw in that vlog is Guanella Pass. This drive takes you right by the trailhead for Mount Beardstadt, the 14er, and through the scenic mountain town of Georgetown. There are a lot of dispersed camping sites along the road, so this would be a great place for fall camping as well. But it's close enough to Denver that it's easily managed in a day's drive, which is what my husband and I did this year. Number two, another one of my favorite fall drives in Colorado is Highway 67 from Florissant to Cripple Creek. This scenic highway is lined with aspen groves, and it's kind of one of those perfectly winding mountain roads. Number three is Highway 9 to Breckenridge. You can get to Highway 9 either from Highway 24 out of Colorado Springs or the 70 from Denver, then drive through Hoosier Pass to Breckenridge. If you plan your leaf peeping journey right, you can end up at Breckenridge Oktoberfest, which in my personal opinion is one of the best in Colorado. Number four is Lake Dillon and Keystone. There are some beautiful places to hike along this route through really beautiful aspen groves. And there's a creek that runs alongside the road there, making it extra scenic and beautiful. Number five is the Peak to Peak Scenic Byway. Fall seems to happen especially quickly and early at the high elevations near Rocky Mountain National Park. And the Peak to Peak Scenic Byway runs south from Rocky Mountain National Park down to I-70. And this drive is pretty either way, taking 70 out from Denver and then ending up in Estes Park, or starting your day early in Estes Park and driving and looping back around to Denver. I don't know about you, but leaf peeping has become one of my favorite fall traditions. Let me know in the comments if there's a spot near you that you love to go watch the leaves change. Then head to the link in the description box where you can sign up for my five-day email course on taking better travel video with your iPhone like I did in the beginning of this video. And yep, all that footage from my vlog was taken with my iPhone. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.